Hello and welcome to What The Math. Today we're going to take a look at how to do statistical problems using your GDC or your calculator. And we're going to do this by using this uh, sample problem from uh, chapter 6D. And this is back to the lobsters, the problem we used before. So basically, um, we're going to take a look at this, but this time try to solve it entirely with our GDCs. But before we start, remember that whenever you use GDC on a test, you still have to show the buttons that you pressed and how you found your answer. So you actually have to write down how you pressed or you know, what buttons you press and how you actually found it, um, otherwise you're going to lose your method points. All right, so let's take a look at this. So first we're going to do it uh, the more difficult or the longer way, and be this is basically by entering each individual value that we have right here and trying to look for, um, we're going to start with looking at different numbers such as a mean and median, and then also try to plot the histogram. So I'm going to bring up my GDC, and what you need to do is you have to click stat, which is obvious, it's, it's a statistics button, and go into edit. So you press number one and into your L1 column, you're going to enter all of these numbers. So one by one, basically. All right. And here I have all my data entered. So now all you need to do is you have to press stat, go into calc and click on the first one, basically number one variable stats, uh, one variable stat. And here you have your list already selected for you. We don't have a frequency list, so we can actually just erase this for now because we don't have one. And then you click calculate and it gives you all of your answers. Now you have to know some of these symbols. The X with the little bar, uh, little bar thingy on top, this is your mean. So your mean for this value, for this particular example is 5.22. Now we're not actually looking for the mean, but just so you know, this is basically what it is. These numbers, we're not going to study them yet, so you don't have to know them. This, however, uh, especially this one here, this is something called standard deviation, which is going to come to us pretty soon. Uh, so I'll explain it to you when we come to it, but just basically know that this is, this is your standard deviation. N equals 20. This is how many values we have. We have 20 values. Minimal value, minimum value is right here, and you need this to find your range, minimum X. Maximum value is right here. So your range is this minus this. 7.3 minus 3.1, which is uh, 4.2. 4.2 is our range. Median is written right here. Our median is 5.2. Um, these two values, Q1, Q3, I'm going to explain it to you in the next video. This is related to um, something called box whisker plots, which we'll be doing very soon. And then finally, and that, oh, and that's it. Actually, that's it. Um, so this is what we have for our values. Now, our question here actually asks us to make a frequency table and to also to basically plot this. Now, frequency table, you have to do by hand. So you can't really make a frequency table here. Um, but luckily, we're going to have a frequency table example right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to plot it using these values. I'm actually going to plot it using the frequency table. So let's just say that on the test, you make a frequency table because this is part of your points. And then you want to plot it and check your work on the calculator to, just to see if you if you graphed it correctly. So let's just go back to our stat value. I'm going to erase all of this. And just to, to erase in the entire row, you just have to clear. You have to go to the top here and clear the whole thing by pressing clear and enter. And now we're going to enter uh, the values in the middle right here. So between 3 and 4, that's 3.5. Then between 4 and 5, that's 4.5. And 5.5 and 6.5 and 7.5. So as you can see, this is actually a lot easier to enter than enter in each individual value uh, because here I had to enter 20 of them and there's a high chance you can make a mistake. Whereas if you enter in values from a frequency table, it's a lot faster and it's a lot, a lot, um, harder to make a mistake. Uh, and now I'm entering my frequency into the second column. So this is how often the number appears. Now I'm going to go back into the stat go back to calc, click on the first one. And now here, this is where you have to enter your frequency list. And for us, it was L2, which is right here. So this is second two. And then you just have to calculate and it gives you the answers again. So your um, mean is here, your values, minimal value, maximum value, median is here. So all of these values are here. Now, so basically these are the same values. Now we just have to plot, plot this. If you, if you click on the graph right now, you'll get nothing because you, we haven't set this up yet. You, what you have to do to set up the stat plot is to go into stat plot. So this is second Y. And this is, we've, we've used this button before, but basically here, we're just going to click on the first one, go on the first one, turn it on. And, but before you quit this, you have to actually change the type. So this right here was the, um, 
the one we used before, uh, this was the scatter plot uh, data that we used before. Now we're not looking at scatter, scatter plots here. We're actually looking at histograms there. It's the icon for histogram right here. It's the third one. You click on it, click enter. And on the bottom here, it will ask you, what is your frequency list? What is your X list? Your X list should be L1. Your frequency list should be L2. Uh, if it's not, you just click on second two for L2 and second one for L1. Then that's all you have to do. You just have to click on graph now and you will see your histogram right here. And if you compare it, let me just, I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. Uh, let's do the zoom box. I'm going to use the zoom box to zoom in on the particular part of the graph. And there you go. So this looks exactly the same. You can go through the values just to see what they are. And um, this is a very good way of checking your work. And also just um, if you don't have to plot the histogram to basically find the value of mode, for example, because mode right here is the highest uh, highest bar. And this is the mode. And you can see that it's actually at X equals, um, where is it? 4.5. So between four and five. That's our mode, and um, this is a this is pretty pretty much the easiest way to graph and to also kind of check your answers to to try to clarify some of the questions that you have on a test. Um, because if you if you're unable to graph the frequency histogram, you can do it on a calculator first, and then basically copy your work from from the calculator onto your paper. And this is basically it. This is how you use your GGC or your calculator to try to graph different histograms and uh, solve statistical problems. Essentially, remember that you just need this button right here, stat, and then you enter your values into uh, this column as your X values. This is your frequency values or just your X values. And then you're going to stat, calc, and one variable statistics. And that's all. That's it. That's all you need to know. All right. So thank you for watching and good luck to you. Bye-bye.